I'm here at the famous Ginger Pig in Borough Market talking to head chef Andy McFadden from Lord Pierre. Andy, you're a member of the Chefs Alliance. This is all about championing real food, real producers. Why is that important for you as a head chef? I think it's so important to me to be part of an organisation like that because um, one, you have to be invited to be a member. Two, like it's, um, it's slow food, it's all about promoting a better way to eat and, and, and putting you in touch with these amazing suppliers who, who you sort of forget about. And if you go somewhere like the pig and you, and you sort of find out where your meat comes from, as you're like my job as a chef or a cook, like I want to know where everything comes from that comes from my kitchen. I want to um, uh, work with them and, and, and the whole uh, philosophy about uh, eating less but um, uh, better quality meat and learning and meeting all sorts of suppliers. Um, I want to know where like, the thing comes from, where the lamb comes from. Now, of course, when we, when we well, we're all told we eat too much meat. Today is about championing the forgotten recipes, the forgotten cuts. Yeah. Tell me what you were cooking today at so, Farah. I mean, we, we only get whole animals in the kitchen for lucky kid. So, I mean, we're, we're dealing with these cuts like two, three, four times a week. So what we did today was um, the Tom from Ginger Pig, he butchered a whole lamb and then we took the lamb liver. We made a beautiful lamb liver parfait and we just did some little canapé for that with black olive. Then he also, uh, we also did a uh, little lamb shoulder croquettes. And then, uh, so it's sort of like uh, cuts that maybe you, you probably don't always use at home, but a lamb liver. And then in terms of the pork, he boned a, a whole pig's head. And we used pig's cheeks. And pig's cheeks, I think, is like something that's sort of got forgotten over the years. Like these cuts, like, there might be a little bit more, more, more work involved in terms of preparation, but when you eat them, my God, like it's delicious to eat. It was absolutely delicious. So would these be really economical cuts for, for us to buy? Yeah, I mean, in terms yeah, from a price point of view, it's, it's uh, certainly like the, the way to go. Look good, but in terms of like, yeah, if you get a pink cheek or a lamb liver, like it's, it's the cost is not really there, you know. Do you champion those lesser lesser cuts and shorter here? Yeah, for sure. Like we we only get whole animals, so of course we use um, a bit of lamb, best in the lamb, saddle lamb, um, a bit of pork. Um, but it's quite nice if you, do, if you display these different cuts on the one dish. So yeah, we have, we have like three different menus, like the taste menu, the a la carte, and the lunch. So we find a use for all the all the plastic animals. It's quite nice. So, what 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 is Lodge Pie and your cooking celebrated for, Andy? How would you describe your style of cooking? I mean, yeah, I describe it as uh, it's obviously based on, on classic techniques, but it is quite modern. But we're also very passionate about it's all the supplies that we use and. We're, we're extremely passionate about being part of Slow Food and, and, and on the Chef Alliance and, and, and working with all these chefs and all these producers as well. And, um, I mean, for me as a chef, being, being able to use the products after I've met the people that, 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 that produce it as well, with all the different lamb and pig and vegetables and, 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 and that, that we use, I mean, that's like the best thing that I can say about the food that we, that we do at the restaurant. So how would you um, well, uh, sum up what Slow Food actually stands in a nutshell? For me, it's why, why should we go slow? Why should we go slow? <laughs> slow food for me is all about promoting a better way to eat. And what we were doing today was all about slow, um, uh, eating better quality meat, but maybe a little bit less. And a lot of people have this frequency idea that, oh, it's going to cost me an arm and a leg. But you don't, it's not, the, the, the cost is there for sure. Like, nothing's cheap these days. But I think it's like going down to the butcher and you don't, it's not all about filling steak and everything else. Like the, there's so many other cuts that need to explore and, and to get excited about and, 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 and it's, 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 it's economical, like it's not, um, it's not everything's um, great for price, like it's, the, the stuff's there to be used, it's just about educating yourself and talk to the butcher and if you're, maybe a lot of people, they don't go to the store to meat because they don't know how to, um, how to cook. There's so many ways to learn about meat and, and, um, and, and it's just, it, the, the So it's basically rekindling those yeah. skills. Uh, and then using all the animals to cook super nutritious, um, affordable meals. So we should all be eating pig's cheek. Definitely. Pig's cheek, lamb's liver, and lamb shoulder. The proof was in the eating. <laughs> Thank you very much, Andy. Thank you.